Fiddler Gab the Danny Boy here and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. In the background you can see some stuff. Some industries, because we're going to be doing some industries. We're up here at Aberdeen. Uh, we're going to get the oil industry done first because we now have the really cool oil, oil rigs that now come with a, a buoy, which is cool. And this one here, which is also pretty cool. Now this one is slightly strange to look at. I don't think there's anything like this in the North Sea. If anything, this here, right, would be attached onto the end of there. And then there would be like the, this would be like the rig floor and all the work would go on at this side and this would be the accommodation side. But it's pretty cool, we've got two rigs now to to choose from and we'll get them set up. Now I've built a couple of oil refineries over here so they will they will take on board the crude. Now I need to set an area to drop them off. Uh, so we shall go and do that. Uh, before we do though, I'll point out a few things if we go into the lines uh, I did uh, an executive bus route so executive buses from Edinburgh to Glasgow so we've got some pretty cool Swans travel uh, livery buses in here I think this one is a Hastings bus and it's still down at Edinburgh transfer or Healings so they probably don't run up here but I thought it'd be that would be a nice little uh, little change. Uh, if we go over here, there we go. There's another Swans Travel in the white, and we've got a yellow one that's under a tunnel. I've also got a first Glasgow uh, bus here, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I set up the Glasgow commuter. We are pretty much all set up here for heading to the north we can expand this station as need be we've got an electric train coming in there and uh, I've got a freight station here I've got a little one over here uh, and then another one coming up here this can bring stuff from sort of southwest anything that comes from the southeast can maybe come up here to Glasgow and then I'll sort of place freight stations accordingly so I don't know where that fourth bus is I think it's Probably in this tunnel. It's just a yellow bus. That is. That is. It looks pretty cool adding them onto the roads there. They've only got a capacity of 11, but that's not too much of a deal breaker. I do have quite a few first buses. Uh, I've got a first urban bus to sort of mix it up uh, here in Glasgow, and we've got the Barbie, Barbie pink one here. Now this says Leeds, but it's okay. It's going to run in Glasgow. That could be an advertisement. Go to Leeds on holiday. Welcome to Yorkshire. Blah, blah, blah. So we are all ready to go there. Now there are a couple more bus routes that I added. I added a Inverness uh, via Thurzo to Wick route. Now this is really, really bad getting in here. I might try and get another route in here some way, somehow. Uh, I might bridge this, in fact, or tunnel it to come out this side and one can go that way because, yeah, some want to go that way and some want to go over that way. Hmm, right. Well, I'll fix that later. But these are just sort of like red and they're definitely not from this area. I don't know, that's like a royal seal there. So National Express, I've just named them as National Express. Uh, so they are heading up there. We've also got a little but, uh, bus route in Wick and we have one in Thurso as well. So here's the little bus here. I just used these green stagecoach numbers because I think they look uh, really cool. So they are up there. I did, however, change as well one other bus, and that is the the Dundee bus. So if we go to Dundee Station, 
National Express Dundee. There's actually National Express Explorer Dundee liveries. Uh, here they are here. So that's uh, that's really cool that we've uh, we've got them. It looks a bit cramped at the back there. Does no one want to sit down the front? Not really. Sitting down the front of the bus is for losers, right? <laughs> Only the cool kids sit at the back. Uh, what do I want here? Right, I kind of want this. I've just spied this. Madness. Mods. Mods to extinguish these tiny roads. Would be awesome. Alas, it's okay. It's okay. We will live for the moment. So we've got our trains rolling back and forth. That is ScotRail Aberdeen to Edinburgh. Which is running fine. Now we'll need to get the ships out, but first of all we're going to run trucks. And... Uh, yeah, we'll get a, a truck station or dealer maybe over here. I think that would be kind of cool. So buildings, garage. Uh, we'll make this a Mercedes. Yeah, Mercedes garage. That would be pretty cool. Right, place it right in there for the moment. There we go. There's our little Mercedes garage where the showroom basically looks onto the wilderness. Uh, we'll need to get a couple of go to streets actually can I get that in a depot? I think I can uh, oh well uh, right so we're going to get one of these by era versions uh, we're going to place it right there now this will only be dropping off so that is kind of nice uh, we're going to configure this uh, passenger second street access yes please uh, we'll configure it to have cargo uh, what I need to do is right no 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 don't delete that only delete this is going to make me delete the whole thing. Okay. Go to configure. Yeah. Refund me that, right? Get me cargo. And add a couple of fuel filling points. Right, and then I can go in. And I can delete this. Oh, no, it doesn't let you. Oh, well. I mean, I could add one there and there. Right, that's probably a better idea. Uh, yep, only one truck is going to be coming in. That's fine. Street access. Have you go there. Right, now, I would love a copy button. Because I'd like to copy this and just place it at the other side. Lots of other thing, uh, games have that. I know... Uh, Workers on Resources, Soviet Republic has a copy button. Uh, so does Arno. <clears throat> it's really helpful. It is extremely helpful. Uh, let's smooth out that. So, <clears throat> trucks are going to be coming in here from one side. And we shall get another one at uh, this side here. Now, I was going to continue this road on. But I need to do the train lines first because uh, it'll be super complicated if I don't right make it long right but leave a space so configure yes please cargo this one oh right it's trying to configure the other one over there I want to do this one please and thank you uh, yeah, add that there, add that there. Now can I remove this? No, I think it wants to remove the whole thing. But we'll leave it there <clears throat> for the minute. That's fine. Right, now we've got our two routes here. Now, we'll see, right? First one will be up to here. Uh... 
we'll go up to there first. Uh, freight. What colour was I doing freight? I was doing road transfers in a sort of green colour. So this is going to be uh, BP, right? <laughs> uh, RDT. Crude. Abs. Right, so this one's going to be BP. Now, <clears throat> go to buy vehicles, go to cargo, uh, go into here, so you've not got BP, either is this, either is that, shell, you've got a shell one, I'm pretty sure there is a BP one, right, or is it just shell only, no, BP, right, buy one of those, <clears throat> then we're going to see if there is a, another one of those. These are cool, the, the doubles. You don't really get these in the UK, or they're not the, the long trailer ones, they're smaller. But we've got some cool R500s and R730s there. Uh, no livery for that. Ah, here we go. Scan your variants. Add that. And then if we do a third one, yeah, these these doubles, these really long doubles, you don't don't really see them in the UK. I don't think you're allowed. And there we go, Aman F two hundred. Uh, the Volvo does the Volvo have a BP livery? Nope. Just a forty ton tanker set and the other one. I'm surprised. That this doesn't. This does have Scania one up here does have a shell livery. So we'll run three for the moment, right? So we'll place them on BP, RDT, Crude, Aberdeen. Right, we'll get them on the weight and we shall get a second line from there to there. We shall paint this one green as well. And this will be shell, so shell, RDT, road transfer, crude, abs. Okay, let's go in and grab some shell trucks for that route. Let's actually look at our BP trucks. They look pretty cool. Uh, we might get more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. Right, so we've got like a this livery, that, and these ones are kind of the same, just different units at the front. That's okay. Uh, by vehicles, we want to check this first. Right, so no shell livery, that's fine. We have shell livery in here, so let's buy that. Uh, the 40 ton truck. Go down to the tanker set. Shell. Buy. What's in here? Oh, okay. Yep, we've got another shell in there for the mans. Uh, the Volvos. Negative. Negative on Volvo. Uh, negative on the smaller Scania's. Negative on them. Check in here. Yep. Shell buy that to so the four variants of uh, this one. Curt Insiders, no, no, no. Right, so we shall set them on Shell RDT Crude. Out they come out of the, the truck stop there. Perfect. Yeah, these look smart. I do like the Scania as well. Uh, there's the man, it looks like. And another Scania. It's pretty cool. They're really cool liveries, these. Now, we need to get a ship rolling to our oil rigs. In fact, we need two. So, new line. Uh, let's go there to there. Because that now counts as a depot. I want this to be that colour of blue there. Oh, hello. Auto save. 
my friend. Alright, that'll be fine, and this will be... Uh, North Sea... North Sea Crude to Abs. And we'll name that as 1. Okay, we could have a third rig and then do the total. I might do that. That might be something that we'll possibly do. Uh, yeah, I think I might make like a larger one and like just totally flood that port with oil. But we'll get these two up and running first and foremost. Don't know why I closed that. Still need it. <clears throat> you go there. Uh, change you up to blue and we'll do North Sea Crude North Sea Crude to Abs 2. Excellent. Alright, so they are both done. Now as before, uh, still severe lack of oil tanker mod. Uh, the biggest we've got is the viola. Uh, I did see this. Unfortunately, it doesn't take the old crudes. It's still a river boat though, so it's not really any use. I mean, the Vigo, the Virgo tow boat tanker, three hundred seventy-six in two compartments. It's kind of slow, but we'll get one each. Uh, we could have got gone with the Titan that takes 350, but I'm going to go with these ones. Until an oil tanker mod sort of appears, there ain't really much uh, we can do. So we shall leave that to head out. We've got our trucks over there. I can configure this and extend this to a 3. I don't know if that works. It does work. And it works well. Sweet. Uh, do a bit of smoothing over here. And then we could possibly have like a, a third drop off point, uh, like down here or something, to service both of them. Now I have noticed that this here is, is kind of squint. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo that. Alright, now. I need to flatten this section if it will let me. And then we shall get a drop off point over here. I mean, I still need to deliver fuel into. Uh... Ah, okay, okay, okay. New plan is in effect. Okay, right, so we won't get a third oil rig, but we shall have to tall trucks take it in uh, to the sea. In fact, I might change up like the BP or shell ones to uh, to to tall trucks. Now this this station here is squint, and that's why it's performing. That's why the road looks kind of weird. Yeah, do that and just bring that around there like so. That'll be fine. And then I shall get another platform right here to take the fuel in Aberdeen. Alright, so buildings. Right, again, we want the same sort of deal. Alright, but we might want to make this one slightly longer. In fact, I might use something else for this. Maybe not a warehouse. That, if it fits in. This The problem with this is it's, it's really large. Considerably large. Oh, it is so close. It is ridiculously close. It might fit in at this side, though. Country, city, so close, it is so close. 
Alright, I knew it. I knew I'd be able to get in. There we go. Then we can take two tall trucks out here and deliver it into the city. There is a fuel station here. I think it's a golf. It is golf. Oh well. Okay, now it's time to get the train uh, rocking and rolling. We'll have to build the line for it. Uh, I'll let it play on, right? So that they can get fuel down at the other side. But I want to take it out this way if possible. So we are gonna yeah keep that catenary no because there's no there ain't no uh, catenary up here in the north of Scotland only south of Edinburgh and Glasgow and between Edinburgh and Glasgow now I'm gonna get a freight station in here some buildings yeah make it 320 long as per usual and I actually want it to go right on the edge here it's going to delete a lot of buildings I will delete some of these buildings in here to get truck stops and stuff in but we want that to go right in there smooth out some of this that is perfect Alright, it's maybe a bit whoa, a bit close to this line. That's nah, okay. Keep the speed up. AA is fine. Keep going alongside the road. It's actually snapped to the road there. I don't really want it to snap to the road because I'm going to try and tunnel under uh, here. Now that was slightly too ambitious. I do think I will be able to catch this though. In fact, right. Where are you going? That is apparently flat. It doesn't look flat. Ah, it is flat. Okay. So I want to then bring this sort of out the way. Yeah, so we're going to have to go down to like 60, I think. And then bring it up here, but have it go down. Have it go down quite a lot, yeah. Tunnel to about there, that's perfect. Yeah, bring it up again. Nope. There is the sweet spot. And then I'm gonna have another train run round the the outskirts of, of here. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Uh, the game is not playing, it should be. Okay, right. Now I do have this other freight station over here, so we might join that onto the main line. Maybe, possibly. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. My plan was uh, to take it out and bridge it over, and then come out at on this side. Uh, I might still do that. I might just uh, pull this back a section. And we'll figure out what we're going to do with that later. But this side is all good. Right? We're going to have another line that comes out this way and then it's going to bypass round. It's going to literally bypass Aberdeen and go down that way. Now, the main line which we've not built yet, or we have done in Nimby Rails that we're going to do in the next episode that goes to Perth, is sort of heading out that way. I kind of want to go out that way, but there's many different routes we can sort of, sort of take here. So you... 
In fact, I'm going to take it straight on, I think. Right. So I'll go straight on there. We'll just do one rail line at a time. Right. You continue out that way. And continue out that way. Now I kind of want, right? I'm going to place a bit of track there. And I want this to go up. But then go through the hill. Ooh, okay, take it down. The problem is I don't want it to be the same level as this road at the other side. I want it to bridge over. We might be able to do that. Because uh, I'm going to need it to go out to this section. Which is fine. Uh, do I really want freight running on the same lines as the the other ones? Not particularly. I'm going to start from this section first, actually, which seems a bit strange, but hey ho. And I kind of want it, right? Smooth this out because it's a bit wild at the moment. Right, Perth, I admire your uh, your constant need for growth there, but it's unwarranted at the minute. Because uh, I think the Perth train station is going to go in there. Uh, I'd like it just to stay in this little bubble area here. There we go. It's trying to... It's okay. I can't just keep deleting it until we're ready to utilize that section. Okay. Alright. Push pause. Yeah. Pause is on. Go to there. Go there. And keep going along there, right? Have this come along, right, and then start to go up. But not too massively about there. And we do want you to tunnel through here. Does it give me a bridge at the other side? I think it will. It did. Sweet. Okay, so it has to go at that height. We'll give it something that doesn't really massively interfere, sort of pillar wise. And then we are going to have to move this back up, that looks like. Uh, it's kind of a long bridge. Okay, new plan, right? Delete that and that. No, I kind of do need it to uh, to come out that way. It's okay. We're gonna get this eventually. Oh, 
Alright, that to go along there. Now, would it be better to go underneath here? Because the tracks there are pretty far down. We've got this naff water effect as well. I really hope that they patch that because it looks really stupid. Uh, okay, maybe bring the terrain up. Up at that side, get rid of the naff sort of water effect. That's fine. And this to come around to there. There's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to bridge. Oh wait. I can bridge it. I can make it green. Okay, that's what I wanted. I wanted that to go over there, like so. Right, the next plan is going to be to really a tunnel underneath this. Really? How far? No. I didn't think it would have to go down sort of that far. Join it up. What? <laughs> Join it up to there. See where it goes. Uh, so you are like brown thing. Right, I'm going to build that because I'm going to see where it actually decided to go. I thought because this section was raised that it wouldn't be, wouldn't really be too egregious. <gasps> it's maybe not too bad. We still need to get the second, the second line in though. Uh, yep, go along there. Yeah, it's colliding. It's colliding with the road. Which is a real shame because that would have been nice to get that in like so. Bring this section back. Do this. Right, we're colliding with that section of water there. See, this is why the, this aspect of the game needs to be fixed. The the colliding with the water that shouldn't be there is it's kind of a it's kind of an odd, really odd thing to have. Right, so if I bring that down slightly more, right, the second one should be able to get it under. It did. Okay, and then it goes up this way. Alright, what are you colliding with there? Nothing. In it goes. Okay, that's fine. Uh, maybe cut this back a section, because I'm then going to try and bridge it. Uh, over the way. Let's try and smooth this out a touch, but keep the water and be a look. See, see there. Pretty sure that's got like a tiny little touch of water. It's okay though. Now what I wanted to do is have another train, uh, perhaps maybe continue on to like the Edinburgh side and I think I will perhaps try and get that in or maybe take it over this way uh, maybe not make it too long of a bridge but I'm gonna have a freight line that runs around the back there so we'll get that in and this section here is pretty much done 
Now this is the one on the far left, right? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, don't curve you round that way. Have it go round this way. In fact, keep you on the flat. I don't mind you being elevated here. Because I am about to elevate you in just a second. Alright, into there. Come on, bridge. Stone bridge? Stone bridge could be quite nice. Maybe something like a, a red one. Yeah, okay. Red bridge going in. Round that way. Now this area here looks a bit naff, but what we could do is delete that, that, and that. And bring this to there. So it's more of a gentle curving slope. And then we can maybe smooth out that. Right, so there is our first line. Fuel down to Glasgow. Yeah, I'll maybe just add like a bunch of trees in here. Uh, these are like the seed pines. Paint tools. No, train tools. Assets. Trees. Uh, these ones, yeah. I don't know what the difference is. Uh, single? No. Give me a lot. Uh, give me that as well. Uh, through the trees you go, my friend. Add a couple over here as well. Alright, there's a couple on the... Well, maybe delete one or two at the edges here. Definitely these ones in the middle. Maybe if this was a smaller railway. The thing is, these ones are nice and high, right? So the branches don't uh, start like a low level, so they don't really encroach onto the track. I'll maybe get rid of maybe that one down. And this couple at the back, the one behind you. There we go. Right, perfect. Now we can actually set this up. Now, get me terrain tools. I want this to be flattish going in here. And we can stop at Dundee and we can stop at Aberdeen with fuel, at least. At least that we can do. Now, I need to get the train rolling. Uh, push play. Okay, I've left. A tiny bit of room out here that I think I can fit a depot in. Uh, yep. You turn around. Go, whoa, don't go into the don't go into the river D there. Try and try and stay on track. I might have to elevate this up slightly. Okay. Okay, that's enough. Stop trying to snap to the thing. Too much slope. Nah, it's perfect. Look, straight in there. Awesome. Right, buy a freight train. Right, first one shall be steam diesels. Absolutely. We've now got tons and tons of variants of the Class 66, which is awesome. Uh, I've got 25. I'm kind of looking for Tesco Rail. That's pretty cool. Uh, I might use this Malcolm. There are... Mm, Stilbert Rail, DR Compass, Malcolm Rail. Where does Malcolm Rail operate? People of the world, enlighten me. Or at least people of the UK, because they are probably the, <laughs> as they are probably the ones who've seen it. This G&W, right? That's Australian. Negative on description there. Oh no. Ooh. Right, that's fine. So you see there's no 
There's no pictures to go with these ones. I'm scared there. Uh, let's go with... These are the maritime ones, right? GBRF MS Sorrento. Sorrento, what have I heard? Ah, it's the Star Trek Lord X, is it not? The Sorrento. I'm kind of looking for a Scott Rail one. Maybe this British Rail unbranded would be kind of cool. Uh, okay. That one's Sheffield. Beacon Rail Blue. Neil Bennett. The Flying Dutchman, it's pretty cool. Uh, Alright, what do we want for this? The Flying Dustman. Ah, uh, okay. It's Biffa Steel, right? Cayman Express, Evening Star. There we go, look the. The Belmond Royal Scotsman. Right, so what we're going to use for this is we'll add one of these, right? Add another one of these. Go to cargo. Uh, yeah, these are here now. Sweet. I couldn't find these before. It was driving me absolutely wild. Got some green uh, ones as well. The cement. Wagons, the British Rail VGA wagons, awesome. British Rail coal, yeah. I've got lots of stuff now. It was so weird that they I couldn't get them before, but it's okay now. Now what what is gonna match? Uh, this one. I think the shell is gonna match. This one we've got shell BP. Which is nice. We've got a golf one as well. Green Energy, FINA, EWS. Right, we shall make the first one BP. So add that. Get one, two, three, four black ones. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, one, one, two. Capacity of 260. Let's bring it up to 300. Uh, what am I on there? Mm, 320. Yeah, we've over overcooked that. There. 324. And well, it doesn't really matter about removing that. 305, 280. So 280 capacity, let's buy that one. Let's set it on the line. Now, I've not actually made the line yet, so it'd have been really smart of you to do so. <laughs> right, so this one here is gonna go there. It is not gonna stop there on the way forward. It's gonna go straight down to here. Uh, we need to get points in here or it won't it won't cross over as we so wish it to uh, you there and you there back in here get the line manage line add a station now on the way back you're gonna stop at Dundee Right, and then you're gonna head over here. Now it's not utilizing both sides of the track there. I don't know why. Uh, one of them could perhaps maybe be split. Uh, manage line, go into Dundee. On one, please. There we go, now it's utilizing both sets of track there. Right, we'll get the total trucks on the go to take it back. We'll get like a total uh, sort of mixed livery train. We'll push play. 
we'll let this one rule out line one and then I'll get some other uh, some other liveries for these trains I think I maybe should have used that is we should get a nice shot here of the train coming out ooh there's the Caledonian sleeper going past as well that would have been nice So we've got the Belmond Royal Scotsman. Off you go, my friend. There's two different. I think it's just the numbers. Yeah. Off it goes, though. Right, we'll let that one go. And then we'll go and build. Build the actual next one. Uh, wait, yeah, these have got BP written on the side of them. That's good. Right, so in it goes. Uh, nothing there yet. I can actually play this at three times speed, and vehicles actually move at three times speed, which is fairly astonishing. That's at 172. Yeah, there's tons here, so I'm going to need... Possibly... Nah, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Those trucks are fine. Uh, where's where's my new train? Don't know, but we'll get another one up and running. So diesels. I'm actually going going to go into here, and we're going to get the fourth Raider one, and maybe give it like a standard freight liner for the back as well, right? Cargo. We want the same deal as the last time. But this time we are going to go with uh, the Shell, Shell BP. Right, there's unbranded and there's VTG as well. Right, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And three. 280, 305. Uh, that'll be fine. Buy that vehicle. Yes, please. Let go. And off this one goes. But we'll get a third one as well. We'll release the third one at the start of the next episode. Uh, there should be oil waiting here, possibly, maybe. Uh, why are you not going? Ah, right, the reason this train is not going is because you did not sign it to a line. Alright, so, we'll get a couple of signals here as well. There is oil waiting, that's a good sign. And then we'll do that, and then we'll leave it there for that episode. Uh, we'll get the next one out uh, in the sort of next episode. Yeah, look at this one. Hello. Where are you, my friend? Very nice. Yep, so we'll leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, a comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there is more you would like to see in the future, then hit the subscribe button. I've been Danny Boy, this has been Transport Fever 2 on the UK map, and I will catch you later.